Hello and welcome to the Blender Barbox channel. Today we are going to see how you can create or import these 3D building models freely from online using the Blossom or formerly known as the Blender Open Street Map add-on. So I'll show you how you can uh, where to download this add-on and how to use it in Blender. So let's get started. So uh, we will start our journey here on this page. I'll put the link in the description section. So uh, this is where you can get the add-on, the Blossom add-on for Blender. This will include OpenStreetMap, Google 3D Cities and Terrain. So this add-on has two versions. The Blossom premium version which is a paid one and the Blossom the base version that can be downloaded for B. So the premium version have uh, extra features like uh, textures that can be imported with it. If you can uh, you can also try this one. So for today, uh, we'll see how we can use the Blossom, the base version. Still, you can get some terrains and some basic building shapes uh, instantly using this add-on. So uh, you can go here and it will open up a page. Blossom for Blender, Google 3D Cities, OpenStreetMap and Terrain. And you can get this for free. If you want, you can give some donations to the creators or you can give them some credit also. Yeah. So uh, once you get this, uh, let's proceed to the how you can uh, move on to the Blender. So let's move on to the Blender now. So open up your Blender and then the first thing you should do yeah, is to add, to go to Edit and Preferences. So uh, go to edit, preferences, add-ons and then install and then you need to uh, specify where you you downloaded your uh, where you downloaded the, your add-on, the Blossom add-on. For me I have already done so, so I will uh, show you the Blossom, yeah. Here it's already uh, installed, so I just need I just need to uh, check this box. Import export the Blossom. So make sure you check this box. Another thing, you need to specify the directory to store downloaded OpenStreetMap and Terrain files. So uh, you can specify uh, this where you want to uh, the you want the image to be uh, uploaded so once you give it some uh, directory then you are all set to go so uh, let me come here press n and here you can see the blossom add-on is displayed here so before we start let me delete this cube so here you have various options so the first thing uh, you can do is here press select to specify the area that you want to download now this will launch the your web browser and you can zoom in to anywhere you like uh, the area where you can uh, where you want to uh, import the 3D building models. Another way is you can also search, type your search term. For me, for instance, I'll search Bern, capital city of Switzerland. And also you can click on show selection rectangle option. This will uh, put a rectangle where you can select. So 
uh, one thing you need to be careful is the area of this selection should not be like very large unless you are confident that your PC can manage it because the download time will take forever so in my case I will reduce the size looks uh, still fairly uh, large size yeah maybe th this is enough for me okay so now once you are you have uh, made your selection once you have identified your location you can go back to the blender and here you have the import option so before that uh, you have various options here i'll show you now we are on open street map so let us import the terrain first and click on enter uh, i mean import so the terrain is imported as you can see on the right side on the display section but we are not uh, seeing it so let's press the dot sign all right it looks like it's uh it's out of view so you can go up here to the view section and we can increase the end point of the camera let's say to 10,000 yeah so we have successfully imported our terrain it has no textures all right so this will be where the 3d building models that we are going to import shortly now are going to be placed all right let's proceed to the blossom add-on we have imported the terrain now let's import the open street map buildings yeah make sure you are on the 3d view so the terrain is the baseline we are importing buildings if you want you can import water objects forests other vegetation roads and paths and railways so I'll, I'll just tick everything and another option you have down here is import as a single object the buildings or maybe I'll uncheck this one so if I uncheck this, it will import uh, each building individually. So you can manipulate, edit each building separately. I think that's more useful. Okay, looks like uh, we are uh, done. Let's uh, click on import. So this will uh, take some time depending on your area of select. Oh, it took like five seconds I think so my area of selection was small that's why if you selected a bigger area it will take uh, more time so it looks like we have successfully imported the 3d buildings let's go to the material view okay actually uh, up here and change the settings yeah looks more clear now okay so the terrain and we have many things going on around here I don't know what these points are yeah so we can uh, see the 
what we are selecting so railways are part of it okay anything is anything selected oh so okay so because we uncheck this so everything is now at individual level uh, this might not be yeah so it's uh it has separated everything so uh, we it's uh, if you uncheck this it will be useful for the buildings for instance i'm working individually on each building like this one but uh, for the railways for the roads might not be a wise move so we have clear models yeah so this is uh, uh, the way that uh, you can import other thing uh, yeah it has image overlay and google 3d tile option because uh, but this will uh, be on the paid version so the image overlay means it will add textures to it for instance if i select this option and click on import yeah so it's asking me access to token for the arc chase overlay is not here so you need those keys for the that that's another version so uh, based on the free version this is what you get it's uh, enough actually it's yeah so this is how you can import free 3d building models from uh, OpenStreetMap in blender using the blossom add-on so i hope you liked today's tip if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe the channel i will keep updating you with another blender video tutorials i'll see you next time with another blender video thanks for watching take care bye